beginning with the subject specific tool language session now. So a very good afternoon to all the participants. And uh, before I begin, I would like to request you all to switch on your videos because it gets easier to interact and also have a look at the participants who have shown their interest towards languages and makes the session more engaging and interactive. Great, now I can see a lot of faces. So a warm welcome to all the participants. I am Priyakshi Gupta, working as a senior academic consultant for English under Diksha project at CIET NCRT. And I will be giving you a walkthrough of a lot of language tools, out of which my main focus will be on word word. Now, uh, when we talk about language tools, the first and foremost thing that comes to our mind are the core skills, which are listening, speaking, reading, as well as writing skills. And uh, during the pandemic, we saw that there was a shift in the way we teach and how classes are conducted from offline to online and now to blended modes of learning. And we have not completely done away with the digital mode of learning. However, we have taken the best out of that. Excuse and now it is echoing. It's echoing just a second. So, uh, ma'am, actually multiple sessions are going on, which is why there will be a slight echo, but I'll uh, try my best to make the use of the uh, limited provisions and assure that you all have a uh, seamless session. You know. Right. So, I'm just talking about how we have adopted the best practices out of the digital uh, mode of teaching, the online mode of teaching. And now what has happened in the current scenario is that we are we have kind of moved on from the completely traditional pen and paper method and students need more in classrooms they want to enjoy they want to have fun they want more interaction and they want more engagement in the classrooms so uh, earlier what was happening is that we as teachers were probably rushing with the syllabus then we were not even aware whether our LOs were achieved or no. And uh, sometimes what happens is we find that some students are more comp competent but shy. And sometimes we find students are pretty confident. So how do we strike a balance in our students and ensure that we are also able to assess their learning and also intervene and find out their shortcomings and ensure that they are at a common page. Now, uh, when we talk about language tools, we need to incorporate them in digital education in such a way that we are able to teach language as a skill as well as a subject. Now, there's this term called edutainment, and this was first used by Walt Disney in 1954. So we use this term to talk about educational entertainment, right? So education doesn't need to be monotonous. So to break that monotony, we are integrating ICT into our learning and making learning more engaging and fun. So we need to use these tools in such a way that our students feel autonomous when it comes to practicing and performing. Then they need to feel a sense of belongingness while performing these activities. And the child also needs to feel confident on what he's performing and at the end gain competence over his or her skills. So on that note, I'm going to share my EPT now and give you an overview of what World War is. And apart from World War, I'll also be mentioning about different tools. So uh, I would just like to request all the participants that if you have any questions in between, you can raise your hands and it would be even better if uh, you can post them in the chat box. I'll be taking it up at the end of the session. Also, please be alert throughout the session because I'm also going to be posting an interesting quiz because, of course, even I need to assess the knowledge of my learners as to how much you are absorbing from this uh, session. So, uh, 
I'll just be sharing my screen now. I hope my screen is visible. So as I mentioned earlier, we'll be talking about word wall. Now, at the end of this presentation, you will be able to understand the importance and use of language tools. Why are they important and why do we need to use them? Then you will be able to create interactive and user-friendly content on WordWall. When I say creating interactive and user-friendly, mind it, it is also easy for the creator to create, not just for the students. Then you will also be able to make learning more engaging and fun so that your classes at your, uh, as I mean, as I mean, you being the anchor of your classroom will be able to sail through your classrooms with multiple feathers on your cap. Then you will also be able to integrate different tools to improve the teaching learning process for languages. Now, ICT and language tools, how are they helpful for teachers as well as for students? So for teachers, of course, they enhance the classroom delivery and it makes teaching learning fun. Apart from that, it helps in restructuring their resources, not just your lesson planning, but apart from these, your tools act as an add-on to your teaching learning process. Plus it provides variety in teaching. Like I mentioned earlier, it breaks the monotony of the teaching learning process and adds spice to your classes. Then for students, it makes them proficient in languages and become lifelong learners. And as I mentioned, they also develop their LSRW, which is listening, speaking, reading, and writing skills, and enhances their critical thinking skills. Now, what exactly is this word wall? So yes, it is an online tool for creating interactive games for students. So we are incorporating gamified learning here. Then it is also used to create printed materials in the form of worksheets. And this variety of templates are useful in creating and sharing resources from any corner of the world. So there is a mechanism for sharing it on uh, your social media, email, WhatsApp, Facebook, Google Classroom. I'll be uh, looking into that in detail in my uh, further presentation. Then it aims to make teachers' lives easier and to improve the education standards of the students. Like I mentioned, that it also ensures that the creator is able to create easily these contexts. Now, what are the pedagogical implications of word wall on different subjects? Now, uh, word wall is not exactly a language specific tool. However, we as language experts customize it and modify these templates in such a way that they cater to our need of ensuring language competency among our students. So WordWall can be used to create content for other subjects as well, which include math, science, social science, et cetera, apart from languages. We will have a look at these in detail in the different templates that are available on WordWall. Then this tool enables students to apply their critical thinking skills, problem solving skills, decoding, enhances their vocabulary and inquiry-based learning. Then it can be used to improve the overall quality of learning it integrates learning with fun with the help of visual representation. Now, if I simply give a plain sheet of paper or a worksheet to the students, yes, the practice is happening. But what if that worksheet is transformed into something that is visually appealing with colors and elements? Naturally, the student will be attracted towards the resource and will want for more of such resources or content. Then it enables the teachers to achieve their learning outcomes effectively. Then uh, like, let's say students when they, or children when they are playing any game on our mobile phones. So what happens is that we as parents, we naturally, sometimes we uh, hand them our mobile phones and they end up downloading a lot of games, random games on the phones. Now they are not going to play all the games that they download. So what happens is that if the game is too simple and too easy, that challenging factor gets left out. The child may not continue with that game. And if the game is too difficult, then what happens is the child again feels demotivated and feels that, no, I'm, I don't think this game is for me. 
So there has to be that moderation in such a way that the child feels motivated to compete and take a step further in his or her ladder of achievement. The game should be uh, in such a way, or let's say the resource should be such that the child, you know, gets pulled back to it again and again. And not just that the child is just engrossed in that game, but it also should ensure, it should also ensure that some kind of learning is also happening. The child is also able to absorb the essence of that resource. So uh, without further ado, I'm just going to give you an overview of how to get started with WordWall. So first we are going to go to www.wordwall.net. I'll be posting that link when I give you a proper uh, live demo of this thing, of this tool. Then the first and foremost step is to sign up. Now, instead of creating a new account, you can simply use your Gmail account. Then uh, another thing, since it says sign up to a basic account. So the basic account of WordWall limits the creator to use up to five templates, only five templates. And uh, the paid version gives you access to unlimited templates. So that's the catch here. But the hack here is that there is a community tab on WordPress. So if, and that community tab also has subject-wise resources, which can be reused. Those are all free and open sources. Now the hack here is you can go to the community tab, explore a variety of content and choose the top five templates that you feel can be of your use. And it's not that suppose you create a fill in the blanks activity on one tem template, then you have okay. used up one resource. You are only choosing one template, which can be used multiple times. So five templates, you can reuse, recreate, and reshare those, con those uh, resources a number of times. Then uh, after signing up, when you're all set, you will have your icon called titled as create your first activity now and create activity. So you have to click on either of these tabs to create your first activity. Now, when you click on create activity, you will be redirected to a set of templates like this. So I'm just going to give you a brief overview of what templates will help you with. Yeah. The first is matchup, which is a drag and drop activity for uh, match the following activities. Then we have quiz, which is in the format of, uh, of uh, in the format of an MCQ series. Then we have random wheel. Random wheel is where you get some options. You click on it, the wheel spins, and the pointer stops at one particular word. So you can start uh, use this template for let's say any jam session that is just a minute session, any extemporary, a role play, a read aloud, anything in your language classrooms. This can be used in online classroom also. And if you are having smart boards in your classes, then you can also use it as a teaching tool in your physical classroom. Then we have missing word, which is more of a fill in the blank activity, but your uh, drag and drop activity. So you will have one correct and one incorrect option. A sentence will be given and the learner will be dragging the correct word to the blank. And of course, I mean, correct or incorrect, automatically the tool, the template gives the feedback accordingly. Then another template we have is group sort, which is a categorizing template. Let's say you want the learner to sort between nouns and verbs. So nouns and verbs will be jumbled on the screen. The child will be dragging the uh, chosen, uh, the, dragging the selected word and, and uh, dra uh, drop it to the correct category. Then we have find the match, which is again another MCQ format template where uh, let's say a particular word will rush in and he, the child has to select the correct answer or the correct match amongst the options. Next, we have unjumble where we will be give, uh, where uh, you will just write the sentence in a correct sequence when you are editing it and creating the content. You will be writing your correct sentence and WordWall does the entire magic and jumbles those words. So when you publish it, the learner will just drag the words and rearrange it into a proper sentence. So that is your unjumbled template, which I'll be also giving you a live demo shortly. 
then we have matching pairs now matching pairs is again like your uh, tiles multiple tiles are inverted you have to click on one it reveals a particular word again you will click on another it will reveal another word so you have to find the correct match and once all the matches are uh, selected or captured uh, the resource will capture the time taken by the user to find the correct matches in this resource the next is open the box, which is again, again, you can use it in place of random wheel for any kind of read aloud extemporary jam, jam session. Let's say you have certain options here. If I click on two, so that particular box will zoom in and reveal the word or the topic that needs to be spoken on. Then we have word search, which is a crossword template. Let's say you give uh, name names of um, fruits so let's say you have 10 names of fruits so what word wall will do is it will just create it into a word search activity you don't have to select the place or position of the words word wall does that magic for you then random card cards is again another dealing uh, template well let's say you it's just a visual representation i let's say i have a lot of options for extemporary or speech Sorry, sessions. If I click on this deck, it will just shuffle the card and reveal one option on which the learner will give a speech or an extemporary. Then labeled diagram. Like I mentioned, word wall is not a language specific tool per se, but you can also use this template for uh, labeling, preferably for science or social mm -hmm. science, but it can also be incorporated in English uh, based on need. Let's say some kind of an illustration or anything. So if you have an image and there are these small, small dots or points on the image and these dots that you can see where I'm moving my cursor are the options. So I'm simply going to match that dot to the correct position on the image. So this is a labeling activity. Then we have anagram. Anagram is nothing but uh, it's a spell check activity for the students. Let's say I give a word on word wall. <coughs> Word one jumbles that word, and the child has to drag and drop the letters in the correct sequence to form a legible word. Game show quiz is again another multiple choice quiz question uh, quiz template. Flip ties again similar to open the box, which just flips the option, zooms it in the screen, zooms it on the screen, and you can either read it out or uh, make the child give a speech on any title that you are uh, planning to add there. Maze Chase is again another um, gamified activity, which uh, is more like your Batman game. And you can again customize it for any kind of fill in the blanks activity or MCQ activity based on any chapter or a story. True or false is used for assessing the child's factual knowledge or can be used to assess or uh, Assess your uh, child's comprehension knowledge of any chapter or story again. Image quiz, again, something around the line of a label diagram, but here the child has to identify the image. For English or language, you can use this. Let's say I want my student to identify the authors. So let's say I have um, maybe Rudyard Kipling's image here. This template, what it will do is within a set time, it will reveal the image slowly. So if the child guesses the name correctly at a limited time, then the child gets a chance to score up. And the more time the child takes, the lesser the child will score. So this was an overview of all the templates that we have. You can explore this on the community tab. And for word wall, the steps to create a resource are easy as one, two, three. So you pick a template, enter your content, and print out your activities or play them on the screen. Then you can customize your template. You can you have a variety of themes here. And you can customize your template based on the marking, the alignment, and uh, whether you want the child to have access to the, to the answer key. Then how do we share the resource? Once you publish a resource, at the bottom, you will have a share icon. When you click on that share icon, your word wall 
resource link appears like this. You can either copy it and paste it in your WhatsApp group, in a Zoom link, in a Zoom session on a chat box, Facebook, Twitter, Google Classroom, mail, embedded, or you can generate a QR code directly from here for your resource. Now, we also have a leaderboard feature here on WordWall. Leaderboard is where the student makes a mark. And uh, here you can customize whether you want to enable the leaderboard or no, whether the size will be top three, top five, top 10, top 20, or top 40. Let's say top 10. Beyond that, you, you are putting the category of students in uh, you know, a broad, broader category. However, only the top 10 will be visible according to your preference. Then duplicates, whether you want to allow duplicate names. Let's say I did not score well in my first attempt, but I want to impress my teacher and I want to attempt again with the known answers and level up there. So whether that is allowed or not. So up to you. However, if we click on only show best score for each name, so it will just take one response. Then you also get to choose whether you want to remove the leaderboard after a month, a week, after 24 hours or a year. And here is where your leaderboard will reflect on the resource. So leaderboard is a temporary thing, but the main area where you can track your child's or student's result is the my results tab here. So it generates a report on its own and it gives you a report uh, of your average score. That means the average highest score, then the top score and the fastest score with the name of the participant. Then it also tells you whether your question was very difficult, moderate or easy. So let's say my first question, uh, sorry, my first question uh, was, uh, got correct, got three correct responses. My second question got only one correct response and two incorrect responses. So I know that my second question is difficult. So like that, it generates the report. Similarly, results by student, it gives you the name of the student, date and time of submission, how many answers correct, how many answers incorrect, and the time taken by each learner to complete the activity. Then uh, this is the community tab that I was talking about where you can search for activities. Let's say you search for English activities. It will give you a list of English resources. And here is where you will find your template. Let's say here it is mentioned as quiz. Or if you scroll down, you will have MCQ, you will have uh, crossword, unjumble, etc. All kinds of templates. There you have to have a look at what each template looks like and choose five top templates of your use. So that was about the word wall. I will be giving you a live demo. And apart from word wall, other tools that you can use for language learning are www.gamestolearnenglish.com. If you visit the site, you will be redirected to a plethora of games based on phrases, vocabulary, sentence construction, etc. Then another tool is from text to speech.com where if you type a sentence and click on create audio file, this tool converts the text to audio file. And you can also select the accent, the kind of voice, and the speed of the audio file. Then uh, NCRT also has another treasure trove of e-content, that is ePartshala, which has content in the form of e-books, flip books, comics, Resource, uh, resources like worksheets and ass assessments aligned with NCRT syllabus. They can also explore our ePartshala available on website as well as app. So that was about it for all the tools as well as resources for uh, teaching language. And now I'll be moving on to the live demonstration of WordWord. Before that, I'll just share the just a second i'll just share the links that i used so that you can also refer to these in future 
So these are the sites. And I've also shared the link of wordwall.net for your reference. Now, uh, ma'am, shall share... I go with the doubt, please? Yes, ma'am. The QR code uh, will be generated uh, for every uh, item separately. Or yes. can we the, uh, do that in one QR code? I mean, generate a single QR code in which we can uh, give all the activities there. No, no. So one resource, one QR code. I will share that. I will show that in my uh, live demo. Now I'm just moving to that only. And uh, that will also clear your doubt here. Okay. So uh, I hope you all can see my screen now. Yeah. Right. So this is your wordwall.net. Now uh, I want to check whether my participants were alert or no. So who can tell me what was the next step after we click on wordwall.net? It's a very easy step. Sign up. Have to register. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up log in. The Google account. It will be easy. Right. So, <laughs> yes. So we have to sign up or log in with Google accounts since I already have my account here and I've created my resource. I'm going to sign in with Google. Sorry, just a second. So when I log in, it automatically redirects me to my activities. However, for you, the page will appear like this. You have to click here create activity. Since I have already created some activities for demo, I'm going to directly move to my activities. And the template that I will be demonstrating first is unjumble, which is a drag and drop uh, activity to unjumble the, the words in the correct sequence to form a comprehensible sentence. I'll go to my activities now. And when you click on create activities, select that template, it will show you a page directly like this. This is your workspace where you have, this is edit content. You add a, an activity title here. So this will be blank for you. I have simply added my question here as unjumble the words to frame logically appropriate sentences. Then there is also an optional section to add an instruction for the student. So the more instructions we give to the students, our resources also become clearer for the students to understand. So if I remove it, it shows me a possible sentence that is drag and drop words to rearrange each sentence into its correct order. So this is my instruction for the child here. And I have already added one sentence, pre-added one sentence here that is Ram is writing a letter to his mother. This sentence is in English. Word wall, as I told you, that we need to customize it as per our needs to ensure that the outcome and aim of language classes are achieved. So I'm going to incorporate more tools here. One is Google Translate as well as Google Input Tools for this. So Word wall also accepts regional languages. Uh, apart from English. And we'll have a look at how it does that. So for Hindi, I'm simply going to use Google input tools. And let's say I select Hindi here. And my sentence is Veena Patang Uda Rahi Hai. Okay. So I'm simply going to copy this and I'm going to click on add phrase because I want to add another sentence right at the bottom. There's a plus sign. I click here and I paste this again. I'll click on add phrase. And if I want to delete a sentence and I feel like, no, no, this sentence is not too difficult, I can either edit it or simply delete it, right? So I'm going to, again going to add that sentence and click on add fix. Now I can see a lot of participants are from diverse states here. So for that, I'm going to use Google Translate. Let's say the first language that I take is 
Telugu. And I enter the sentence as the peacock is dancing in the rain. And I have my sentence in Telugu, which a lot of Telugu proficient participants are able to understand. But sadly, I am not able to understand. So when I play this activity, I will be needing your guidance here. So that's our Telugu sentence for you. Then uh, if I use Kannad language here, I select Kannad here and I add the sentence. I am reading a book. Sorry. Again, there is this sentence that I don't know. And the only word in Kannad that I probably know is Gotilla, which is again, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to use, copy this sentence here. And that is a Kannad sentence. I'm sorry for the bad humor there. Again, I'm going to go to Google Translate and I'm going to ensure Urdu linguistic Urdu diversity Urdu in this session. Yes, sir. Urdu Okay. And uh, let's say I use Malayalam here and I change the sentence to the sun rises in the east. Another language, beautiful language. And I add here. Then somebody said that they want something in Urdu. So I'm going to select Urdu and let's say I add the sentence, I am having dinner. So my Urdu sentence is also ready here. Now Google Translate is not something that we can completely rely on, but uh, considering that we are language experts here, we can just modify it accordingly. Why am I not able to select this? Yeah. You can paste it, ma'am, below. Okay, I think, okay, I think you are right, yeah. right. Great. Thank you so much. So here it is. And another last sentence that I can use is um, let's see. Honesty is the best policy, and that I can do in Tamil. Now, word wall ensures that we use a sentence that has minimum three words. And if we are talking about language diversity, we will take one foreign language also, which is French. And it can be written as Je parle français, which trans translates to I speak French. So I have a lot of sentences now. And I think my worksheet is ready with eight beautiful okay. sentences. I'm going to click on done. OK, so there must be at least three words. And I think this particular <laughs> okay. was this the sentence? Oh, I think no, this was I believe no space in second and third and word. Is it? Yeah. Is it correct now? Uh if you try once, madam. This is better? Yeah. OK. So now this has saved my activity. And as a user, if I click on Start, just a second. I'll just uh, share the sound. I think I forgot to go back. Yes. Right. So uh, let's just go to edit once again. I hope now you can hear the sound of the resource. Yes. So I'm no, simply, no. yeah, as a user, my task is to drag and drop these uh, words in the correct sequence. So is writing a letter to his mother. So I'll click on next. Then Reena Patang Ura Rahi Hai. Then next. Submit any oh. mistake. Yeah, we are not going to help you now. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's showing. <laughs> yes, so that is what it does so that the child is not feeling demotivated. And I can also revise it at the end. I'll tell you how I can revise it. Okay. And oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying my best to do this already. Right. This is going to be difficult. So there's a lot of words now. None of them are correct. Okay, so can anyone help me here? 
uh, Urdu expert because I might end up skipping this. Sorry. Thoughts on the loss of the first man. No, it's okay. No child is perfect. And so now that I'm done with this, so it will still want me to complete this. Oh God. All right, sir. Can you help me with this? Right, just a minute. Yes, ma'am. Ye first time. Mm. Oh. Yes, yes, ma'am. कुछ सही हो रहा है अभी नहीं ये तो लास्ट में ही जाएगा सेकंड लास्ट सेकंड लास्ट सेकंड लास्ट इन द इन थर्ड मैम ये थर्ड पे ये थर्ड पे जाएगा अब ये वाला यहाँ उसको चेंज करो भाई ये हो गया ओके उसी उधर ही उधर ही हाँ ओके ओके all right so i took full two minutes five seconds and if i click on leaderboard and then i add let's say my name i enter it so uh so since this was i took i did not clear the leaderboard and it is showing me second the i had i was supposed to edit i was supposed to remove the leaderboard and if i click on back and if i click on show answers it shows me all the answers in a sequence and you can ask the student to either write it in their notebooks write it in their notebooks and this also acts as a, a practice worksheet for the student now this was from the learner's perspective now comes now from the creator's perspective how am i going to share it with my students if i click on share you will first see this page private or publish you have to click on publish to make this resource shareable this is your metadata this portion you can add an age band which is yes, not necessary per se you can add a subject so once you publish it this also becomes a part of the community tab when you add a subject this categorizes the resource to the designated subject let's say english social science maths etc what is your topic it is sentence structure so when you click on publish you get this resource published you can either copy this and paste it you simply click on copy this gets copied you paste it you can uh, share it on facebook twitter google classroom hyperlink and uh, shilata ma'am asked me about the qr code if i click on qr code this is by qr code that gets generated automatically for this particular resource so uh, you can either uh, create take a screenshot of this or using your snipping tool you can share this with your students in a live classroom you can ask your users to scan it here and uh, it will redirect you to word wall resource the child can also play it on their mobile phones then comes your themes So this is also my... able to share in WhatsApp, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let's say this is your link. You can copy it, and if you have your WhatsApp web open here, you can simply copy and paste it in the WhatsApp groups. Okay. Okay. Then you can also choose different themes. Like this was your primary theme. This is your wooden desk theme. So you can keep choosing your themes. Let's say. this is one template that you choose one set of exercise one theme you reuse it choose a different theme so with your one template you are creating multiple resources in different forms different themes so your each resource becomes diverse then again your neon will look something like this and your blackboard will look something like this then your classic will look something like this this is just simple just if you choose the space theme it will look like this so it's all about how visually different it can be for your student then spooky spooky is also interesting and this is this is these are for the brave students here So, ma'am, uh, 
what you said uh, using of five is this one is this the the uh, themes that we need to use only no. five uh, no, limited no. to five no 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 themes are your one two three four five six seven eight nine these are your ten themes you, you can use these themes n number of times but the templates like this is one uh, so your unjumble unjumble is sorry this unjumble is one particular template mm -hmm. out of five templates this is one template suppose this is your exercise for chapter one done again you can reuse it delete 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 edit it for chapter two again you can re reuse this again for chapter three like that you can reuse each template and uh, your uh, <laughs> themes here you can use them anytime you can also uh, you know use one resource with a lot of themes let's say for one particular section you want to use primary theme for let's say another section section b or section c you want to use a different theme like that you can customize when okay. we when we delete this uh, activity when we are going to do another activity on the same template hmm. then results also got deleted or not the students you have to delete that you have to delete that i'll just tell you how to do that so this is your uh, let's say timer so here i did not have any timer that within 2 minutes i have to solve the uh, sentences or rearrange the sentences that's again up to you you want to set a time limit you can set a time limit here marking every word with bonus for perfect like as and when i was dragging and dropping it showed plus 1 plus 1 so because every word with bonus for every word again every time i drag it will show minus plus minus plus only on submitting that means after i complete all the sentences then i will know my score so if i select every word with bonus for perfect each and every sentence was motivating me to no no try again like i was skipping one sentence but then it motivated me that nahi nahi you try you do it then alignment left or centered so you could see that the sentence started from left to right instead of center aligned these are all minor customization that is entirely up to you then show answers whether you want the child to see the answers or no depending on that now leaderboard right so let's say i have shared this resource with class 5a that particular class solves this enters their name my leaderboard is here and i see for day 1 my leaderboard till let's say top 40 then i want to use it for another class i'll go to options here and i'll simply click on clear now so it says are you sure you want to delete all entries yes i'm sure so it has deleted all the entries here so that allows you to reuse the template again and again and if you want to remove it after a week after 24 hours apply to this activity or apply to all my activities you can select accordingly so this was about one template that is unjumbled right i'll move to another one now now here let's say this is nothing but choose the correct sorry missing word missing word template if i edit the content here let's say here my sentence was listen to me carefully and how do i select the missing word i have to double click on the word that i need to put as a blank so if listen is my word that i want to put as the missing word i will either highlight it and click here or i'll simply double click here double click on that word it automatically comes as missing words again double click here and it automatically comes here right and if i want to suppose share it with you i will either show you the qr code for you to scan it or i will simply copy this link and let's say i share it here so you can simply select on this particular resource you can add your name on the leaderboard and then i'll show you how the leaderboard looks like so i've added the resource and i'll just uh, clear this so i've cleared my leaderboard on the chat box you have a link it's a very small trial activity for you not your quiz quiz is different you can select that activity there are just two sentences drag and drop you can also try an incorrect answer if you want as in how it looks because word wall ensures positive reinforcement in its resources yeah. 
Let keep refreshing this page to see. So I don't see anyone's name on the leaderboard yet. I have the link pasted on the chat box. Uh, I'm giving you just two minutes. Quickly, you can select uh, the answers. And then I'll, if I have time, I'm going to show you another template. Now, if I re uh, refresh it, then I can see three names here. And it automatically shows participant named uh, uh, Indra has completed this in 19, sec 19 seconds. Gilbert 20, Silatamam 20.9. Again, if I refresh it, it may show me more names. Yes, it has two more names, right? So this is how you can also show your leaderboard to your students so that they also feel that sense of competition to score even better. Ma'am, I haven't get the name to write when I complete, I also completed. Hmm. So I haven't get the name to write before starting the activity. Not before starting, after completing you will get. So after completing then, where should leaderboard. I write? Leaderboard. Yeah, I get the reader board, but how should I add my name into the reader board? How it so, so now I'm going to show you how to, let's say this was uh, the one and this was the one I submitted. So I have to click on leaderboard here, sir. So we have leaderboard, show answers, start again. I have to click on leaderboard and I have to enter my name here. Okay, sure. I'm writing. Okay. All right. So when I, as a user, am writing my name on the leaderboard, I see more names now. See, these many people have now submitted, participants have submitted their names okay. and have finished this activity. So I have 17 more, more names now. And you can see how the leaderboard changes. Earlier we had different names as top three. Now we have different names here. So it keeps changing. Right? So this was about another template that is missing word. I'm going to show you another template now. And this template is called random wheel. Random wheel, if I show you, was this one. Random wheel, which I said the spin the wheel template that you can use for your jam sessions or extemporary sessions in your classrooms. So now, uh, if I go to this, this one here, and let's say my activity, I want to conduct a just a minute or an extemporary session in my classroom. I have my activity title. It will be blank when you select this. Here, I will add jam that is just a minute session. Again, your instruction area suggests that it is optional. But if you ever use this template, I would recommend you to ensure that you mention an instruction here. Reason being that your wheel is a set of concentric circles, two concentric circles, out of which the circle at the center will have this instruction at the center and all your options will be there at the outer circle, right? So let's say my first option is my city, my family, safe trees. Again, I'll show you how I had added it. Same uh, thing, same uh, method as your unjumbled template. Add an item, trees, add an item. My, uh, sorry, my family. Add another item, my school. Same with this, same with this template. You can also use any language, Hindi, Urdu, Malayalam, Telugu, Kannad, uh, foreign language, etc., to have your options here. For now, I'm going to select English options for uh, understanding. 
Now you can also see that there are icons of image as well as sound icons. So if I just simply remove, I mean, I've simply skipped that part. I click on done and I click on start here. My wheel will look like this. If I click on full screen here, I click on spin it. Right? So it says give a short speech on the given topic trees. Okay. Interesting enough, but how about we use word wall further and make this template even more interesting. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this image icon as well as the sound icon. When I click on the image, that is add image, I am simply, I did not have to add the title. It automatically captured from the option and took the title as my city. Now I can scroll down further and I can choose my city. So if I, let's say, I choose this one, a random city here. And when I click on the sound icon, it has already chosen the text as my city. Language, let's say uh, English, uh, okay, GB. If I want to choose a female voice, I generate the audio. My city. Could you hear that? My city. <clears throat> right, I'll click on OK. Again, for trees, same thing. It has already captured my option. I'm just selecting a random image from here. I'm going to add a male voice this time. Trees. It has added the audio feature here. Again, my family. So let's say I choose this one, which has grandparents and everyone. Here, let me alternate it to. You can also choose the accent here. And it has a lot of, so it has Hindi also. It has, if I choose Hindi. My family. Okay, so I have to choose Mera Parivar for that. I'm sorry. And uh, it will automatically take, it has taken English only my because family. the text is in English. Yes. Same with my school. And let's say I choose this image. My school. I'll click on done. Again, I'll put this on full screen. Now, if I click on start, you can see that there are images embedded now. And this is where your instruction will be visible at the center. If I don't add the instructions, give a short speech on the given topic, then this will remain blank, which looks very odd, sorry, which looks very odd for the student as to what the student is supposed to do with this option. I'm going to click on spin it. My family. So now it reads out and the image also blinks. So let's say student A, gives an extemporary or a speech on my family. Once it is done, I can click on eliminate so that there is no repetition. And here you can add up to 50 options. If you have a class of 30 students, you can think of 30 topics and you can add around 30 uh, options over here. Again, if I spin it, my city like that again reads it out for you and again you can choose to eliminate it right or template that i could share again if i refresh it you will have all the options back now here we will not have any leaderboard because this is more of a teaching tool and not more of a student resource the other two templates that i had shown were student resources and not teacher resources. Plus, if you want to, since these are teaching tools, you can also toggle around different templates here. This will not uh, limit, this will not you know, take away your uh, five templates limit here because you are just customizing it. Alternating between similar templates. If I use yes. random cards, this is how it will look. So let's say. My school. So like that. My family. Okay. 
Okay. So why is it not here? Shuffle. So this can be used as a flashcard as well for random cards. If I select open the box from here. My city. Again, another flashcard or a spin the wheel activity. I'll again go back to random wheel and then my template is intact. So uh, that was about it for word wall from my end. I will be taking the doubts in the last two minutes. But before that, it is finally quiz time. And I would want you all to go to the site, any device, go to the site called joinmyquiz.com and enter this code. And you have to click on start after that. So I have one, two participants, two very quick, three, four participants, five, six, and how many do we have here online? We have 68 participants. Oh my God, we had 47 to 68. Wow. You may please, please read, uh, read the quote. Sir, it is 783925. 783925. Let me see if I can copy the link. I'm pasting it in the chat box as well. So that it is. Yeah, I've pasted it in the chat box as well. Okay, that is quick. 25. Yes, another 40 participants, 42 participants to go. I'll wait for another one minute. Once it is 50, I'll click on start. So particip the participants have also added the link on the chat in the chat box. You can also access this from there. You have to click on start once you have entered the quiz code. 45, not bad. 50, 55 at least. Shall I click the start? So you can click on start only, then you will be able to join in here. The game will start once I click the master start button from here. 46. Okay. You have to click on start only, then you will enter here. 48, two more at least. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The one hand Yes. Yes. If more participants to clear 68, 20 more to go. Ma'am, I yeah. have joined with mobile also, so the number is more. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. All right. So I think we can start here then. So I'm going to start with the quiz now. Okay, we have 49, great, 50. 50 was my upper limit number. So shall we click on start now, dear participants? Are we all ready then? Yes, ma'am. Right. Yes, ma great, great. So we have five more minutes now. And all the best, dear participants.
to end the quiz now and find out who all have made it to the leaderboard. Okay. So we have our winners here now. So congratulations to Nitya ma'am, Aparna ma'am and Vijay Kumar sir. We also have mastery party group here. Okay, great. So, well done, dear participants. I could see that everybody was jumping up and down on the leaderboard. And uh, so this is just a fun uh, activity to keep a check on the engagement as well as your, uh, how much you have absorbed about the tool. And uh, we will be moving out of our breakout rooms in another one minute. So thank you very much to all the participants for such an engaging session. I hope you all enjoyed the session and will be incorporating these tools, especially word wall templates in your classrooms. And thank you very much once again and all the best to all of you for having fruitful sessions in your classrooms. Thank you. So I have one more minute in case you have any doubts. Madam, open for yes, yes, sir. Are there any tools for uh, spoken English? So, like I mentioned, uh, you can use text to speech, uh, which actually converts any sentence to audio file, and uh, you can use it as, let's say, a repetitive technique. Uh, sorry, imitative technique for the students to listen to the audio as well as uh, ensure that they use the correct pronunciation while reading the audio. Are, are there any testing tools? For uh, okay. spoken language, not that I'm aware of, but you can customize these templates and put them to use. Uh, for... Okay. All right. So as you all can see that a message has popped up on your screens, the breakout rooms will close in 53 seconds. 50 seconds now. Thank you so much, Shelja, ma'am your feedback speech i enjoyed a lot and i tried to redo it uh, oh great yes you can actually create your account i mean log in via gmail account yeah. and play along with word ball even your kids will enjoy it yes ma'am <laughs> thank you ma'am thank you so much ma'am so we will be leaving our breakout room now and we will join the main session so i hope you enjoyed the session and thank you once again Thank you. Thank you. So we can all leave the breakout room now. All right. Take care.